The attendance says it all. This venue is absolutely packed. You can't find another seat in the place. It's been sold out for weeks because people want to be together and they're passionate about that. And that is precisely what my message is, that we need to connect with the passion people have and just doing things on Teams or Zoom or other things. Yes, it can be more efficient in terms of time, but we lose the human connection. And without that, the future is finished. So one of the things we were looking at are statistics about the workforce. And we're finding that 94% of senior executives across Europe are still feeling personally impacted in terms of their own health and well-being by COVID. Maybe psychologically, but it affects them a lot. And it affects their clients as well. We're seeing that 78 to 80% of all large companies have invested significantly more in mental health support over the last two years. And we're seeing at the same time a big new trend, which we call quiet quitters. In the United States, it's a disaster. We see 50% of the workforce have checked out emotionally. They're not interested any longer in the company or the strategy or the future. But they're just carrying on. They're doing the basic minimum to earn their money and not get sacked. But they don't want to be promoted. They're not interested in the future of the company. And they are really absent, you could say, psychologically. One of the reasons for this, of course, is COVID. The fact that we've been locked up for a while and then since coming back, people have been celebrating, they've been going to football matches, they've been going to concerts, they've been going to theatres, they've been going shopping, but they've not been going to work. <laughs> That's an issue. So that all their passion has gone into private social life, into family, into friends, into leisure, into tourism. Huge boom. Here in Istanbul, you can hardly move in the souk. I was there three weeks ago. It's very, very busy with tourists from all over the world. Meanwhile, Istanbul is visiting Paris and, and uh, Madrid and Morocco and the United States. Why? Because we're having fun, breathing the same air, having real authentic experiences, but we want to work on Zoom and Teams at work. This is unsustainable. And as I have pointed out, even very virtual companies like Apple have discovered the truth, which is that tools like Zoom and Teams and other things are fantastic at saving carbon with commuting, fantastic at saving travel time, fantastic at getting people together very quickly from all over the world, fantastic at management but not for leadership. Leadership is about breaking the rules. Leadership is about creating new vision. Leadership is about changing how people think about the future. Leadership is about transformation. For leadership, you have to bring people together. So Apple found they've been brilliant at management, but management is not the future. Management is to do with history. It's just managing yesterday's principles and processes and products. But the future requires innovation. It requires thinking. And it requires radical change. And Apple found they can't do this. That's why they've called their teams back. Three days a week in early 2023, they need their teams to be present, interacting, uh, bumping into each other in the lift, uh, having coffee together, tea together, uh, just doing life. Just putting people together and seeing the fireworks happen, seeing the energy bubble up again. That is the future. And that is the answer also to reconnecting with vision and purpose, rediscovering why it is that we make a difference every day, and re rediscovering the joy of working with team members that we really like and trust. And then we find that all the energy that people have visiting Barcelona uh, to I don't know, to visit something or else, and others coming to Istanbul to visit all kinds of things here, or going to see friends or family, or going to the concert. We see that kind of energy coming back into the workplace. That is absolutely vital to healthy growth for companies in Turkey over the next five years.